EH has reassembled the EH working group that is working currently on an updated version of EH guideline document 8 on the basic hygienic design principles. And this guideline is often referred to as the mother of all EH guidelines because it underlines the basic principles that are then further developed in other EH guidelines. And with us today is Dr. Jürgen Hofmann, chairman of this EH working group, to talk about uh, what the new guideline update will bring. Referring to EH guideline document 8 as the mother of all EH guidelines, is that a correct uh, title for this guideline? It's not because it's the number 8, uh, but uh, it is indeed the, the, the mother, so the, the base of hygienic design. The guideline title is Hygiene Design Principles, and we can read all the fundamentals of hygienic design in that guideline. So that's a summary and the base of, of all the further guidelines EH is developing. For those here who have not yet read this important document, can you tell us a bit about how the current EH guideline document 8 is structured? What is the scope of this document? Yeah, we have different chapters. So the uh, the, the hygienic design principles is, or to adopt the hygienic design prin principles in the food industry is related to our, all our equipment we use for production and also for the factories itself. So the rooms uh, where you have the production. And uh, there you have different issues we, we have to talk about. So the functional uh, criteria, the design criteria, the materials you use, and so on. So we have different aspects we have to look at. And this is the summary in, in that guideline number eight. Since any adaptation in this guideline eight might affect uh, the other guidelines and consequently also the certification and uh, even the training offerings of eHedge, I guess we all would like to keep a close eye on what the next update will bring. Uh, now, Concerning new developments, for example, uh, the GFSI, Hygienic Design uh, Risk Assessment Benchmarking development uh, that is incorporated by the certification owners now, uh, is that also something that will be included in this new guideline update? We have already published the white paper and also the risk assessment guideline is um is in the or in the final stage of, of publication. So we can can easily refer to it and write a, a summary or the, the principles of it, how to use it or how to adopt it in the food industry in, in document age. So um, that is, uh, in, in this case, it's easier because it's already, the, the, the principles are, are already there and we can, can introduce it in the guideline. So uh, the other thing is that for new guidelines, for new working groups, it is important that they follow the principles of hygienic design of guideline eight. So they should always start with these principles, read it and uh, take them into account by developing new requirements of uh, the design of their specific equipment they are dealing with. Finally, Jürgen, who in particular should read this EH guideline document eight from cover to cover? Everybody who is in, in charge of designing equipment or or also uh, do the engineering of, of plants and so on, should know about this guideline and, and the content of that guideline. So it is important that the people read it and they have to read it carefully because uh, it is more or less every sentence in the guideline is, is very important. And uh, there are no pictures in, so it's not easy to, to look through and so on. So you have to really read it. Uh, it is not too long, so you can read it, and uh, it is it is necessary to understand all the tasks and and requirements inside this guideline. So the mother of all e hedge guidelines, document eight, a very valuable read for anyone listening here, and probably also a good uh, starting point for anyone who wants to set up a presentation about general design. No, it is the the introduction presentation of hygienic design so if anybody is interested in what is hygienic design then take guideline number eight and uh, uh, highlight the the principles and you can can put some some pictures and some stories inside and then you have a, a very good presentation about 
all the fundamentals of hygiene design. I wish you much success with developing this new eHedge guideline document update in the coming month. And thank you for providing us uh, with the insights in the relevance and the scope of this guideline. Thank you for your time. You're good. Bye. Thanks. So you heard it from Dr. Hofmann himself. If you've not read this very important basic hygienic design principles guideline yet, please do so by downloading it from the eHedge website. There's a link up there and down there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.